Hello and welcome back to our KSP career and in today's episode I'm gonna be disassembling the long-range relay that we have built and sent in the previous episode and I will be modifying it to be sent to Drez. Yes, I'll let that sink in for a second. Um, actually, I'm building this uh, vessel to be able to be sent to Drez, to Jewel, and because this will be our all-purpose long-range relay satellite the, which is ultimately needed for building the network so it will be sent to Duna, it will be sent to Eve, it will be sent to Drez and Jewel eventually however it is two requirements one of them is to be cheap because I'm out of cash and the second one is that to have extremely high delta V as much as I can cram into a small form factor and uh, Drez, I figured, was as good a uh, place as any to send it as initial launcher and basically, you know, just have it done. See, these are all the experiments how I initially envisaged that the rocket stage should look like. You know, something like this and um, ultimately, yeah. So I am designing the rocket that's supposed to be, I'm, I'm hoping for, have it, for having around 8000 delta V, more or less. Um, however, once I actually looked at it, this uh, seemed all a little bit too sleek and too long-ish, so I decided instead that I want to be having something shorter and stubbier. So something like this, I've decided to go for 1.8 fairing instead, and having then another 1.8 meter tank, followed by, um, yeah, hold on, no, actually I'm just trying to find, yeah, a good enough tank something like this I'm just comparing the amount of fuel that we have so I want to have the same amount of fuel as I had previously together with this that gives us uh, oh 1347 oh no that should be probably in the no wait we have to f change the fuel configuration because I want to make sure that yeah see 3.5 thousand delta V now that's what I'm talking about now let's dunk in the SAS here, we already have the batteries, the solar panels and everything else. So what I want to be, I'm looking now for a thrust puck or a thrust plate, yes. Because this one will ensure that we can have a very nice looking, you know, um, fairing and everything. Yeah, see? So now it's all of the same size, it doesn't look hideous anymore. It looks like a regular rocket. <laughs> Pun intended. All right, so that thing being said, this is 2.4 thousand meters per second. I don't think I'm actually happy with this because also thrust weight is 1.25 and that's a little bit too low on my, uh, you know, account. So I'm actually thinking that I would put something like this, then it's 1.08. No, we have to engineer also make sure to, that we take care of our thrust to weight ratio. And if I put to this side boosters, then it might be actually, you know, doing the shtick. So let's see, we put two or four? Four, I think that's better. All right, now what I want to be placing and making sure that all of them run in the same time, and that we'll be dropping them in asparagus staging, because that should put our delta V very high up. So let's see, um, just minor corrections. And I also want to add the science experiments because since this one will be going to Drez, I haven't tested Drez at all and we have lots of batteries, big solar panels. So we, I do want to have some sort of experiments running as well. I don't want this just to be a relay. So once it's done with doing with sci its scientific missions, then it will remain as a relay further down the line. So here is my double click literally killing me before I figure out eventually, you know, how I how I should do it. Basically doing like this and then, you know, double back. So, yeah, so once I actually reloaded it, it looked fine and then I found my way around it. All right, so there it is. For the purposes of restoring your sanity, I have trimmed out the bit where I was going completely bonkers about, you know, getting uh, these fuel lines in place. And as you can tell, we have roughly 7.6 thousand delta V. I think that should be more than enough to get to Drez. However, we'll see. And I'm thinking that it's only going to go up because I'm not going to be, you know, burning in the like total maximum thrust like an idiot. So let's see. I mean, yeah. 
Okay, now the craft is aerodynamically stable, and given that this is a little bit of, you know, Soyuz-like rockets, I figured might as well put in the Soyuz-like launch pad. Alright, let's put in the clamps. We want them just right here. There we go. I know, Soyuz, I think it, was it, it takes like, what, six boosters, but we're go good with actually just four at the moment. Then we have the fuel line, which I need to gently turn around, and it was gonna take forever. So, after much fiddling, I think we are almost getting there. Now, it's all a, ma a, a matter of putting everything into the correct stage and then launching the damn thing. So, it is supposed to be envisaged as Jewel, but I've decided to call it Dress because I want to go to Dress instead. So. Start exploring Dres, yes, why not? It's gonna give us some grinding cash and... Alright, disconnecting the fuel lines. And off we go! Look at it shoot up! Beautiful! Alright. Burning through east as always, getting ready to attach to get rid of the first pair of boosters. It's not at all Soyuz-like. Soyuz being famous for its famous Korolev cross. Left out by its six boosters when going up, it's usually it's just a beautiful sight to behold. However, this is KSP and we are going up and we really want to be C. We are already at 6.3 thousand meters per second, which is kind of good. I want to get as high up as possible and then circularize at 100 kilometer orbit and then we'll get our res ejection you know because the window is actually right now it was a good time to launch to dress so might as well do it after all playing with the kerbal construction time takes quite a lot of time to actually get anywhere so might as well you know be launching missions as early as we can not waiting for a second you know or third window and we'll be getting some amount of science some amount of cash some amount of prestige which will certainly help us further down the line for our future and upcoming Jewel stuff. I just hope that we will be able to get this one into orbit, but we'll see. I haven't consulted the Delta V chart, which is typically something that I would normally do. And um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Alright. Apoaps is high, 100 kilometers, and we are about to burn in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and burn. Look at this. Beautiful screenshot. Love it. And it's the same satellite as we have launched previously, just although on a different launch vehicle. There we go, and we are 107 by 97. That's good enough in my book. Now it's just a matter of setting up that dress encounter. Let's create an eject angle and get it positioned so I'm gonna do it on the next orbit though so I have 37 minutes and let's I'm just putting in the parameters based from this and then I will take the maneuver node which should give us a, an accurate enough see and now it's just a matter of fine fiddling until we get a correct encounter so there we go Okay, so this is the place where we should intersect with Drez, which means I'm gonna just go and tweak it a little bit, you know, fiddling, typical way until we get the Drez periapsis, which should be sooner rather than late. Oh, there we go. 30 million. Okay, can I put it less? No. Okay, 29, 28. Can I get 20? Can I get 18, 18 million? Come on. All right, tell you what, I don't care. At this point, 2,658 meters per second looks good enough in my book, and I'm hoping that the rest will be enough for that in, you know, injection. That's 1.8 thousand delta V. I, I hope really it will be enough. Even if it's a high inclined orbit, I don't give a rat's ass as long as we manage to get something out of dress. That is. All right, so doing another circle around the sun sorry circle around the earth yeah yeah well you know circle around the sun is supposed to be a year what can you do all right so getting ready for our dress ejection it's supposed to be happening in three minutes i really dig the steep inclination though it's really you know 
The moment we fire up the engine, we can really say, down we go! Alright, 25 seconds. And here we go, boosting, and pretty soon we will be activating our Nerva engine. There we go. Decoupling and hitting it. Look at it go. We have enabled the reactor because, well, in order for the, you know, Nerva to be as efficient as we know and love it, we need to activate the reactor because I am playing with a reel, I think. Um, I think there's a mod for that. Anyway. Our burn will take three and a half minutes, and I'm just gonna let you enjoy some of it. Enjoying this beautiful vista. Oh, it's just dang gorgeous. Look at this. Sun setting us on Kerbin as our nuclear ship goes all the way out and to Drez. There we go. Uh, ooh, moon even there. Even better. Oh, I love this. This will be the screenshot for the episode. I, I'm pretty sure of it. Look at that sunset effect. Beautiful. All right, well, you know, you know me, I had to accelerate everything. So this is a little bit time accelerated as always. And as you can see, we are one, we are already halfway through the burn, which is kind of nice because once we do, we will be ejecting out of the Kerbin sphere of influence and saying bye bye to Kerbin and hopefully getting into the some sort of dress periapsis I hope. 500 meters per second to burn, which equates to 50 seconds, and after that we will be golden, hopefully. There we go. The good thing about Nerva, it is 0.9 thrust to weight ratio, so it's actually simpler to, you know, hit the exi exact, you know, precise orbits that you need to for this everything to work. So there we go, 1.7 and... Now let's just burn a little bit until we get a decent enough encounter. Okay, we should probably... Oh, the reactor stopped because of the cord overheating. Okay, well, that's good enough. So let's make another maneuver node where we will be making this correction that I assume we need to to get the dress encounter. There we go. Can I get now a lower periapsis than 30? Come on, come on, there has to be a way. Lower periapsis than 30, 29, 28. Ooh, now we're getting dangerously close. Okay, I say I think I saw 15 at the best. Okay, tell you what. I think this is good enough and it's only 13 meters per second burn, which means, and it's gonna be happening in 40 days. However, we're not gonna do that burn just today, but rather we will enjoy, we'll set up that we have want to have two minutes for the correction burn and core overheating shutting down yes all right fair enough so with that thing being said let us just enjoy the view as we leave a little bit Kerbin sphere of influence and it actually extend the all these experiments that we need to but uh yeah i think that would be wrapping it up for this episode you know what to do like if you like the today's episode Hit subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.